Hi, in this video I got a mod from a company that I've really never even heard of before purchasing this device and that's going to be the Smont Naboo. So stay tuned and we'll take a look to see what this mod is all about. Hey, welcome back. We're going to get into the mod right now. We're going to go down low, take a look at it. But before we do so, if you're new to this channel and you're interested in getting reviews on e-juices and hardware devices, I would ask you to subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified. This way you'll know any time that I put out a video. Let's go down low and take a look at this mod and see if it's worth the effort. All right, so here we are. We have the Smont Naboo Rainbow. So, as you can see on the box, you've got what the device actually looks like. On the side of the box, you have a serial number. Back of the box, you have some of the package information, including the content. Package basically contains the 225 watt mod, user manual, a micro USB connected, a certified card, warranty card, basically your typical stuff. Made in China, and you have the scratch and sniff. All right, so on the side is basically the same thing, Naboo. And without any further ado, let's take a look to see what the Naboo looks like. I think Naboo has something to do with Star Wars, Star Wars so they might get sued. Who knows? Anyway, uh, package is sealed on top. <clears throat> you just have to break that seal there. And you will be able to open the package, which actually reveals the mod. <clears throat> In here, we have the charger cable. And... You know, you've seen one USB charger, you've seen them all. And the actual device. And a bunch of warranty information. Battery warning label. I mean, by now, everybody here should know that, you know, this is what your battery has to look like. Anything else here. And you collect on your life insurance policy. Or at least you get to go to the dentist with a hole in your face. And we have the small ones warranty card with some uh, Chinese writing, if you understand that, it probably says Smont, warranty card. And nothing filled out in the back. And you have the user manual as well. If you want to read the user manual, knock yourself out. It's in multiple languages and it's kind of like a accordion style. So, but full color, bonus for that. All right, let's get rid of the box. And that is the device. So, the device is 225 watts, rainbow color, and not touch screen, but black screen, large two and a half inch screen. You got your button on the side, somewhat clicky. You also have a button here that will actually allow you to go into stealth mode. And battery venting on the rear. Dual 18650, clearly marked, so you can't screw it up. And the connection is three magnets. They're kind of tiny, but it locks pretty good. So it makes a pretty good seal on the, uh, the battery door. So not bad. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put in two 18650s and we'll start her up. See what she looks like. All right, so we're going to put some batteries in here. Open the case. And I'll be using some high life. Obviously positive to positive and negative to negative. And then we just follow the buttons and it's on. And it'll automatically start right up. So here we are with the Smolt. You can see that it's got a nice wallpaper, pretty big screen. And it's basically got your mode. You got your battery indicators up top, you got your clock set. Uh, you, Normal mode vaping, variable wattage, 70 watts, and there's no tank on here, so it won't tell you that. We'll put the tank on real quick, because this is just a mod. It does not come with the tank for this, the way I bought this, um, which I did buy for the purpose of the review, by the way. It was not given to me. So we're going to put the arrow on, which actually came with the Aegis Legend kit. All right, so now we have the atomizer on there. And if you look here on the side button here, the little tiny button, if you push that, you'll have these two buttons show up. So they're kind of like a phone that, where they're recessed under the screen. And to access the actual uh, settings, it's three clicks. And then you're just going to move it by hitting here. 
that'll move around the screen. Go back up. If you click one time, you're inside the main menu where you have your uh, variable wattage presets. You have your minimum, you have your normal, you have your maximum, you have your variable wattage cu uh, curve. If you go down, that's it for there. Hold the button one time. Click the fire button. Move it over to your TC mode. So you have Celsius and Fahrenheit as well. And going down to settings, just click the button one time. Where you have the brightness, if you click the button, you'll get the brightness. It's already maxed out. Click the button again, you go back. You can go down to your time, your display. Hitting the display, you have three different modes. It's in classic mode right now. You have dial mode or music mode. So if you go down here to music mode and you hold it, Go back in here again, go down to music mode, should go into music mode, we'll see, and it did not. Press the fire button. And there's the music mode. So as you talk, you can see the peaks that go up if you're listening to music. It'll go up and you'll have your wattage in the center there. And the entire graphic display just goes to the beat of the volume that it hears. All right. Go back into the settings. Three clicks. Go back in here to the wallpaper section. Give you brightness. You have the time, the display, and then the screensaver. Wallpaper. I have whatever set for the wallpaper. And you could choose any of the other graphics here. Now they do have a software program that you could load onto your the firmware update. You load onto your computer using the USB uh, charger cable. You would be able to upgrade the firmware and also upload any of your own photos that you would like as well. And then that's basically it for that. To get back into the main menu, we'll go the regular screen rather. Just hold the fire button down, press it again, and you're back at the main screen. So overall, very easy mod to operate. Settings are very basic. It does go all the way up to 225 watts. I'm at 70 watts right now. And you can see it does tell you the ohms down here and your voltage, if you hit it, will go live. Even when you do hit it, you'll see that the meter goes. So, all right, so let's go back up top and we'll see how she vapes. Alrighty, and we're back up top, and we've got the Smont Nabu in the music mode, as they call it. Alright, and you can see that it's bouncing around. And on top of that, we have the Aero uh, tank that comes with the Aegis Legend. This was just a mod purchase. I did not purchase a tank with it, so it wasn't a kit. So we're going to see how it goes, but I think it matches pretty well because the mod itself is rainbow, and the kit that I did purchase with the uh, Aegis Legend was also rainbow, so it comes with the rainbow tank. So, uh, let, you know, we're going to give it a vape. There's one of the wallpapers, nice little skull action going there. Graphic-wise, it's really nice. It's 300 DPI, so that's really very sharp imaging. So, let's take a vape and see how she goes. So the mod hits great. The tank is definitely kicking some good flavor. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the Aero tanks. I, I like the RTAs a little bit better, like the Zeus from uh, Geek Vape. Uh, but any mesh coil is going to give you some good flavor. I got this right now at 70 watts, and the flavor profile is fantastic. So if I definitely have to say, if you're into, you know, like kind of like the bells and whistles with a little bit something a little bit different with like the music mode. Uh, it fits real good in your hand, the Nabu, and I like the idea that you can change wallpapers. So it's almost like kind of like your cell phone. You can change it, unless of course you have an iPhone, then you really can't do too much with it. Uh, tell I'm an Android user. Anyway, overall the mod is actually really good, and I'll put some links in the description on where you can pick it up. Uh, cost effectively, it's not bad. I think it's running around sixty to seventy dollars range, and I, I definitely think that. If that's what you're into, it does come in a couple of colors. I think uh, silver, black, red, 
rainbow, and maybe blue. But you can check it out when I put the links in the description. I think overall, it's actually a pretty cool product. I definitely never had a Smolt product before. Haven't really, like I said earlier, haven't heard of them until I decided to purchase it after I saw a uh, couple of pictures of it. And it hits real well. So, And like I said, it's got a really easy interface to use. You just got to get used to hitting the fire button for your selection. And I kind of like the idea of the buttons down below that are actually in the screen where it's at touch. One of the things I did not mention on the down low that it's kind of cool also, it does have haptic feedback. So anytime you're pressing on those buttons, you're actually feeling the vibration. Now you can turn that on or off if you don't like it, but I think it's kind of a cool little feature as well where it's a lot more in lines with a lot of phones today. So I think Smolt did a great job. So I'm definitely going to look for some more of the products from Smolt. Leave me some comments below if you've actually heard of the product before, or the company rather, and if you use them and what do you think. So would I pick this up if I ever lost it? Yeah, I'd go out and get another one because I just think it's kind of cool. I like how it fits in the hand, and I think it's a great product. So thanks a lot for Villainous Vapors. Charlie, 